for this episode, Ange and I talk about the word and term Philippine X and why the hell it's so silly. Or maybe it's not. Hope you enjoy. Philippine X. Really? A Philippine X. Why? First of all, why? <laughs> what do you Who think about of it? <laughs> Philippine X, Pin XY, or whatever. Like, it's so point that people keep directing, like, okay, it's gender neutrality, but that doesn't, that isn't where it lies. It's a word that has existed for years and years and years and years and years and years. And, years. and people are directing attention to the wrong things to be able to achieve this gender neutrality that they're fighting for. So, well, it's, it's, I, I don't think it's necessary at all. <laughs> why, why don't we just call mankind people kind? People kind? Kita <laughs> yung ano yung his, funny history. History. People story. <laughs> Love. I love what Justin Trudeau actually got flamed for that. For people, he used... sorry? No, 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 no. <laughs> he used people kind. Like, people may kind. Kasi, like, he was doing a speech and he was like, oh, okay. he's like, someone asked him, like, blah, 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 mankind. That was sabi niya. Actually, around here, we say people kind. <laughs> it was like, oh no! Naging, ano, naging <laughs> meme siya or something, and he got flamed for it for being oh. like sensitive or something. But it was a joke Justin. though. It was a joke. It was a joke by Justin. Anyway, yeah, that's but what let's, always happens. Let's play like devil's advocate, cause cause I'm ano, I think it's fucking silly, Filipino. <laughs> it is. It it looks silly. It sounds silly. I think people who say it are silly. Joke lang. Philippines. <laughs> But the logic is the people in the Philams America or like the people who don't live here in the Philippines, they use it because they feel more comfortable using it. They feel more represented using it. And they feel safer using it. And why is why are we raining on their parade? I mean, isn't every social movement caused by you give me more rights? I mean, let me rephrase that. You give me these rights doesn't mean I'm taking away from your rights. Diba? Yeah, yeah. So, if we, like, the people who say that um, and identify as Filipinx, why... Is there bashing for them? Because we aren't getting hurt by it. I mean, no yeah. one's pushing it down our throats here in the Philippines. Mm-hmm. So, what's so wrong about the word? Well, <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, I agree with that. It's like, if it doesn't harm you, then you don't need to, like, um, basically you cancel it or whatever but i don't know if it's just you know but if if wait i in what context does it make it in what context does philippine x make it more representative for people in other countries like how are they fee- how do they feel more represented when they use it like cuz Yung Spanish and Latino community there. They now I mean I think I think it's like a popular thing now or like it's like a progressive thing now to call them the Latinx community. Cause Latino Latina de ba Latinx community. And that's what they use. I mean I've seen like sila yung mga presidential candidates actually use that. So I think that's the accepted way of calling Latinx people Latinx. Um, it sounds weird too, but it's not in my place to say it sounds weird because I'm not yeah, yeah, yeah. Spanish person or like Mexican, <laughs> um, or whatever. But hmm. ayun, they use it 
they identify by it like they buy yung sa, sa transgender nga the pronouns diba um they get to use their pronouns uh whichever way whatever pronoun they choose um and i support that because i don't think it harms anyone although um you know i know a lot I, there's there's a lot of uh debate around that on whether it should be law or something but i digress I guess that's yeah. the context. Like, you can safe, safe, safe word shot to use to identify as a Filipino in in like America or another country. So, is it like silly now? <laughs> <laughs> well, every, I mean, I guess everything that's new would always appear weird at first to everyone. Crocs were weird. <laughs> Joke lang. Pero, Crocs are still weird. Crocs they are. But, <laughs> but so much yeah, like with, Alligs. It's like, <laughs> and then tapos triangle yung holes. Yes. <laughs> anyway, wala lang. Parang, yun yeah, it's like with the Crocs. You know, it doesn't, if people wear Crocs, it doesn't mean that you are personally harmed by their wearing of the Crocs. <laughs> so I guess, if that would Um, make yeah, our fellow Filipinos, OFWs, and other um, you know, Filipinos living abroad. If that would make them feel more represented, then by all means, like I don't really, you know, care for like it's just it's just a waste of energy to just constantly judge people who use terms that don't sit well with you and. I mean, it's your discretion if you would want to use them or not. Yeah. And I think your problem lang is like, if those people require us to use that here. Yeah, like, exactly. Why, why, bakit, <laughs> kana, bakit mo sinasabi, <laughs> Pilipino? It's a gender uh, insensitive, bro. Oh my God. We should use Pilipino. Insensitive. <laughs> Very <laughs> insensitive. I don't sound like a film at all. That, oh that sounds God. like a... <laughs> A weird copy. Hindi nga Filipino accent yun. Anyway. Ano yun? But, ayun nga. I still don't, I still think it's freaking silly. Because like, when you make a term like that, like, Filipino, we identify with the Filipinos. There's history there. There's uh, the linguistics of it. There's the, the, like, it's, it's a, it's, it's more than just a word. It's a concept. It's a people. It's what our heroes fought for in the revolutions and everything. And to just make like okay, sige, let's make Filipinex, even if it sounds, even if its purpose is noble, like to make people feel included and safe, I feel like it's still freaking lazy just to <laughs> copy like okay, you know, just Latino. copy the Latino Latinx. community. Let's say Latinx, so tired and Latinx, and it disregards the para. Like, come on, uh, Filipino means more than just um, a way of identification. It means history. It means what we stand for as Filipinos, even if medyo malabo na siya these days kasi exactly. uh, so many things have happened. But like, uh, our heroes really did like fight for our independence and our revolution and And all those noble things, even if not all our heroes are great, <clears throat> Emilio Aguinaldo. Pero oh my god, <laughs> uh, yeah, that's yeah. I just wish it was more legit in simple yeah, if, terms. Why? If if you were if you were if you were given that chance to coin the new gender neutral, <laughs> I'm not a term linguist. For Filipinos. <laughs> I'm I'm not Filipino. a linguist. I'm not a historian. Fili- <laughs> I'm not Philippine a- I. <laughs> Filipino is gender neutral. Pero if I, if you were to make like Ay, nako. Philippine p- <laughs> Philippine p- Just so I You know what? Gonna, just honestly. you know, just just remove the last letter. Philippine. Philippine. <laughs> hmm? Philippine. Philippine lang nila na baka kinakus ka sa hininga. Ay, Wait, uh, all these Philippine people. Mm. <laughs> diba? 
It's it's a no. It's 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 oh, it's perfect. God. You just remove it. It's the next. Move. This is the next meme in the making. No, no O, <laughs> no A, no, no X. Lupin. Just period. Just nothing. Yeah. No. 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 Period. Just Philippine dot. That's period. Philippine dot. Yes. The <laughs> joke lang. Philippine Just dot. Let it rest. That was a joke. <laughs> it's not a joke. It will be real. Oh my God. <laughs> Gagawin nating law hmm. itong Philippine. 